two rivers, Rum and Mississippi, played an integral part in the settlement of Anoka. The first settlers came to Anoka in 1844, and in the late 1840s, industry and settlement in the area revolved around logging and timber operations, and the Rum River was a major artery for supplying the region's lumber needs. In 1853, the first dam was made of large timber and was constructed to provide power for the sawmills, woodworking plants, and copper shops that quickly sprang up along the east bank of the Rum River. Seasonal flooding caused the center of the dam to wash out several times before 1856. The washouts were repaired with a combination of timber, rocks, and earth. A second dam was built in 1856 and lasted until 1890 when it was burned to the water line during one of the great fires that ravaged Anoka. In 1880, W.D. Washburn built the Lincoln Flour Mill below the dam, using it to produce 250 horsepower to operate the mill. From 1880 to 1931, the dam was used for power generation by the flour mill and several other businesses along the river. The dam, the most prominent thus far, was able to produce 725 horsepower for the mill. In 1935, the city of Anoka became the owner of the Rum River Dam and continues to own, operate, and maintain the dam today. Today's current dam was constructed in 1969 and is 236 feet across. The dam is described as a buttress type structure and is also referred to as a low head dam. Water level control is provided by a 20-foot wide tainter gate, spillway, and flashboard system. When the flashboards are in place, they create a pool above the dam making it possible for the river to be used for various types of water recreation. The flashboards are removed during the winter months to lower the recreational pool and to reduce impacts of ice and spring flooding. The City of Anoka is seeking financial support from the State of Minnesota to conduct feasibility studies to help determine the appropriate retrofit, modification, or reconstruction of several components of the dam to achieve the following. Operational and safety improvements, including an automated crest gate system to replace the flashboards and construction of the maintenance platform to aid in safe removal of deadfalls and debris. To support the generation of hydroelectric power, renovation of the spillway to allow small watercraft to traverse the dam, to facilitate recreational river surfing below the dam, and fish passage to enhance environmental benefits. Safety enhancements and operation improvements are the City of Anoka's top priority. The flashboard system is antiquated and does not function or fail as it is intended for flood control. In addition, the process to install and remove the flashboards puts the city crews and equipment at risk. The water level must be low enough to fully bypass the dam when the tainter gate is open so that the deck can be fully exposed, dried, and free to debris. Crew members manually cart every timber out of the deck to be set into place by the mini excavator. Boards are stacked three high and held in place by iron I-beams. Because this work is dependent on the river water level, board installation is often delayed due to spring melt and heavy rains. Board removal occurs late fall to ensure as lengthy a recreational season as possible above the dam. As a result, removal often occurs under harsh temperatures, creating an even more treacherous working conditions for city crews. Fallen trees and other debris collects on the upstream side of the dam, putting pressure on the flashboards. Currently, debris is only able to be accessed during the flashboard installation or removal process. Tree debris and trash must be removed to minimize water hazards downstream and to help improve the health of the river's ecosystem. A maintenance platform would allow crews to safely remove deadfalls and debris as they occur so that they do not impede on the operation of automated crest gates. Automated crest gates would allow for predictive water level management to aid in mitigating spring flooding, reducing upstream riverbank erosion, impacts to infrastructure, decreased property values, and disruptions to riparian wildlife corridors. The maintenance platform could also serve as a pedestrian walkway to cross the river. Several of historic wooden dams included similar platforms utilized for maintenance in crossing the river. The maintenance platform will enhance the city's park and trail system by establishing a connection to the New West River Trail. The river section of this trail would be constructed in 2023 and is partially funded by the Minnesota DNR Local Trail Connections Grant Program. Hydroelectric power is not a new concept for the Anoka Rum River Dam. In the 1880s, the Anoka Dam included five turbines on the east bank of the river that powered the Lincoln Flour Mill and several other businesses along the riverfront. The historic dam produced approximately 540 kilowatts of power with unrestricted flows. Until recently, low head dams such as Anoka's were not good candidates for electric generation. The city of Anoka is interested in evaluating the capability of the dam to generate power to the citizens of Anoka. 
technological advancements and the focus on renewable energy initiatives worldwide have improved hydroelectric generation capabilities. Modern technologies indicate that the hydroelectric power plant could produce enough electricity to power the utilities along the riverfront in four buildings the size of Anoka City Hall without creating adverse environmental impacts. The Anoka project would benefit local residents by reducing the peak electric use across the entire grid system. In addition, the incorporation of hydroelectric power generation aligns well with Minnesota's ultimate goal of producing 100% of its electricity from green energy sources by the year 2040. The 1940s historic dam included a conveyor system for small watercraft to portage the dam. Modification to the existing spillway into the lock will offer passage to pontoons and other watercraft creating access from above the dam to the lower Rum River Channel and the recreational pool of the Mississippi River. The dam creates a segmentation and disconnection for residents living along the upper Rum River from the lower Rum River and Mississippi Rivers. An additional benefit of a lock is that the water could be drawn down periodically for dam inspection and maintenance and it could be opened to assist with the release of floodwaters. A lock could also aid in the passage of native fish species for spawning. If a lock is determined to be unfeasible, then the creation of a fish passage will be necessary to support the spawning needs of native fish by increasing their habitat and effectively restocking the Rum River with a variety of species. Eventually, many of those fish would return to the Mississippi River, bolstering the fishery of the Big River, benefiting both rivers. The fish passage will also utilize the nature-inspired design, allowing to be become part of the landscape and to be an educational feature of the park. An integrated gate system and pump will be used to adjust the flow of the water and allow the passage to be closed for maintenance, seasonal flooding, and to control aquatic invasive species. River surfing is a revolutionary new sport that is growing in popularity in the western United States. Surfers, paddleboarders, and kayakers can catch a ride on a wave that either occurs naturally in the riverbed or is engineered. The best waves are caused by a high volume of water flowing over rock formations to create a single wave, not a series of rapids. The ideal wave allows the rider to feel like they are traveling fast over the water, allowing for a side-to-side -side motion without forward movement. River surfing on the Rum River would put Anoka on the map as a unique river recreation and tourist destination with the first river surfing location east of the Mississippi River. Dam upgrades would enable the city of Anoka in consultation with the Minnesota DNR to actively manage water levels for multiple benefits, whether it's flood control in the face of mounting precipitation extremes or actions that benefit target species, the proposed dam improvements provide the ability to manage adaptively and precisely based on the best available science and climate forecasts. Proposed modifications will help mitigate negative environmental impacts and support the positive impacts attributed to dams, such as obstructing the erratic and rapid flow of water to stop flooding and the creation of leisure opportunities in the recreational pool above them. The generation of hydropower energy would be free from hazardous fumes and greenhouse emissions. Anoka realizes and encourages the need for improvements to the Rum River Dam, including safety for the city crews during maintenance requirements, generation of hydroelectric power, enhanced trail connections, renovation of the spillway for small watercraft passage, improved environmental benefits, and fish passage, as well as the introduction of river surfing, a new recreational sport in which Anoka would be the first city to bring to Minnesota.